Hi everyone, so I am back for another update, finally. Last time I've updated you guys, I was right around my fertile window, and guess what? I am right at that point in my cycle again. So last cycle was very unsuccessful, to say the least. Um, fertility friend pinpointed our relation on cycle, cycle day 22, but AF came on cycle day 32, so I always have a 14 day luteal phase, so I actually operated on cycle day 18. So that was kind of expected because I couldn't temp at the right day, uh, times all like every day um, because of night shifts and weekends out of town and sometimes I just got up two, or two hours before that time just could use the bathroom so just like it was just a mess. Um, and this cycle isn't going to be any different. Um, I already had a couple of missed temperature days so um, however my temperatures do look perfect right now like they're all around the ones i did shook are like exactly the same so this is awesome um but next week we'll be leaving for our vacation and our vacation is going to be two weeks and during our vacation we are going to spend a lot of nights with our friends in the same room so i'm doubting i can like get my temperature at the same time without people noticing or like wondering why and I was having to explain, and we don't really want to tell people what TDC, so uh, I don't think so. Um, so I wasn't going to happen that much. Um, I did look up, um, like, how to deal with, like, the daylight saving time and uh, um, diff traveling to a different time zone, because we are traveling to a different time zone. Um, and I pretty much just said, just use the local time uh, the same time as you did. Uh, back home, so just you know, if it's seven, if you used to temperature yourself um, seven a.m. I think seven a.m. Yeah, seven a.m. Uh, <laughs> I always get p.m. and a.m. and stuff. So seven a.m. in the morning, and then just take your temperature seven a.m. in a different time zone too. So um, I am gonna do that a couple of day in that, uh, mornings when I'm not sharing uh, our bedroom or our hotel room with our friends then I will, but I probably will ovulate during, like, pretty much when we're in the air, pretty much when we're traveling but with the airplane, because uh, we are traveling on Saturday and ovulation will be anywhere from Friday afternoon to, like, Sunday afternoon, like, anywhere between those days, I am expected to ovulate. So, yeah, it's gonna be fun. So yeah, the, the thing we're doing this differently this cycle is that Rob is gonna take responsibility for baby dancing during my photo window because we're the kind of couple that has like the most inconvenient work schedules so we barely have quality time as it is let alone have baby dancing time so um especially during my photo window we really need like schedule to make sure that you know we at least have a shot at conceiving um and last cycle rob was well pretty much didn't cooperate as much as I wanted him to. Uh, he was just really tired and I understand and that we got to the conversation because he came into the door and I guess he saw a wrapper of a tampon in the bathroom or I don't know what. And he was like, oh you got your period, I I I'm sorry. And he, I'm like, like, more genuinely of course, but he's like, oh I'm so sorry, I, I, no, it's gonna happen next cycle, blah blah blah. And I kind of like, of course it didn't happen this cycle, I mean, come on. And you were totally incooperative, you know, as we were trying to baby dance and he was like, no, I'm tired. So, of course it didn't happen. And he kind of like laughed, first of all, because my, like, the way I spoke, I guess, like, you're so tired. But also because um, he knows he knows it's true, so, um, and we kind of got into this, like, funny but very honest conversation with each other that, it is always my initiative during the fatal window to make sure we do get an opportunity to conceive. And how last cycle he was totally incooperative and he didn't, you know, help at all. So I challenged him and I said that this cycle it is his responsibility to make sure that we do baby dance like every other day or so during the week before our relation and around our relation. So uh, he was like, yeah, sure, just let me know when you are around the time and I'm going to take on that challenge. And I think as soon as he, like, as soon as he, like, 
shook hands, I was like, did you realize that my ovulation is expected like the weekend we leave for our vacation? And he kind of just went like, oh, that's crap. <laughs> because we're so busy right now, right before our vacation, so much stuff still has to be like arranged that we barely even have, like, we don't even have quality time right now, like, we don't have a day off together or even a, a part of a day off together. So, <laughs> not to mention that I ovulate probably on the Saturday we are in a airplane for 14 hours, so that ain't gonna happen. So, I'm quite excited to see what he comes up with. So, yeah. That is pretty much um, about this cycle. I am... A lot more relaxed because of the fact that Robert is now responsible so if you know, it's an unsuccessful cycle as well then I can just blame it on him. <laughs> I will. <laughs> so that's pretty much all about the CTC stuff. I will make another video or two about our vacation planning and our road trip in the US. Eh? I will probably be MIA for another three weeks after that because of the fact we're actually traveling and after that I will probably just busy doing laundry so yeah um that's it for now and I will talk to you guys later bye hard sometimes like you know I don't know if you guys heard that but I think my cat just <laughs> just ran into my door. <laughs> Sorry. All the time together. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, you're jumping on my phone. How awesome is that? Yeah. I'll be on holiday party. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry.